Welcome back everyone, Tim here, TRD Adventures. And that's you. Um, do a couple little video right here, uh, going off some suggestions. Um, just a couple requests was setting up a servo winch um, and four wheel steering since they both are related with the transmitter and setting up that way. So I'm gonna hit both of them. We're gonna go through setting up um, or how my servo winch is set up first. Um, with the controller and then rear steer. Um, so I use a Spectrum DX5 Rugged. Um, nothing crazy, but I like it. Honestly, the, the color was a huge selling point for me first. I like the really bright orange and I like the rug in general. It is very a tough controller. The kiddo has it, hasn't broken it yet. Um, it's been dropped many times. It has some nice accessories that are available. 3D print for Thingiverse, the storage tray. I like the rubber off-road grip there and the Finger there for one hand steering, which is nice to steer and film if needed. And it has all these lovely switches. So, rear uh, servo winch, rear, rear steer. So, if you're setting up uh, one or the other, um, you'll need at least a three channel receiver. If you're setting up both, you'll need at least a four channel receiver. So, uh, servo winch here is a Three Brothers RC Overlander servo winch. And then for rear and for steering, I have a G14. Three Brothers RC G14 in the front and a Three Brothers RC G11 in the rear. Um, so far, the, um, everything's working for me, working great, uh, especially with much needed power in the servos with both of those getting upgraded. So I'm much happy, happy with those. So setting up and thing with um, like this servo winch and the servos, they are all direct power. Um, so they use JSTs and they get direct battery voltage, whether I'm running on 3S or 4S, all three. Um, they they take it um, so everything's working good there so you got your servo winch installed or your rear steering installed um, well you got your servo winch installed you're plugged in you're ready to program so before you start programming um, if you're doing one or the other you need to decide which switch you want to control it you need to find out which switch you want to use to control the uh, steering and a switch for the rear steer to select through the modes. I, for uh, servo winch, I like using E or F right here in the front so I can access both of those um, with my thumb there and still control the throttle and work the steering. Woo! <laughs> that could have been really bad. Good catch me. And then for uh, four wheel steer, I use D here in the front to select through my modes. Um, rather be you know, regular steering there, same, crab walk, and just rear steer. And it just cycles through the modes. I haven't done too much messing with like changing the individual trim or anything like that. I need to, because um, there are th times when that would be key, especially in comping. But anyway, so we're ready to set up. So you pick out which switch you want to run, and then you'll need to go through the menu you're going to want to go through you know the trim setup uh and like the trim setup and make sure there's nothing important on that switch you want to use um, you don't want to set your servo winch and your throttle trim because you can set the auxiliary to that switch even though there's something else on there so you could set your servo winch with say your throttle trim and then you're moving your servo winch, and at that time, it's also changing the throttle trim. So your car may start to move, or you may go off again, and it won't move because you've took taken all the trim out. So make sure there's nothing important on that switch. You can move the switches around if needed, um, and that's one thing you'll want to kind of do in general when you're setting up your own. You're going to want to move some trims around like I have, um, brake and steering right up here on the top. Um, everything else, I think, is basically taken away. I don't want to risk messing with anything else, so those... Are all kind of moved and I have like the timer set up for when I'm comping I can hit the timer real quick uh, and get going there so you've programmed everything your switches are set they're clear so I'm gonna move the camera real quick okay so first step we are going to set up the servo winch so we're going to go into the menu button there we're going to uh, again menu Scroll down. Now for the servo winch, we're going to go down here to auxiliary assign. 
um, channel, whatever channel you have your servo winch plugged into. Mine is an auxiliary one. Scroll through, select the appropriate channel yours is plugged into. Um, and also, before we go any further, make sure your vehicle is off while you are programming this because if it is on and you start selecting some of these, it will um, start powering up and start moving. Also, don't make sure it is on. Do not turn it on until the servo winch is programmed. Otherwise, you can turn it on and say it goes in full retract and it gets caught up on something and if your servo winch is strong enough, it will break stuff. Next, input. Uh, input is again the channel you've chosen to select for your servo winch. So mine is F. Mode, and we'll scroll through. Make sure mode is set to three position. And then here to um, cyclic is set to inhibit. And then momentary is set to active. Um, that is how I have mine set up. So. So overall, when I press, you know, if I push the switch forward, um, the winch comes out, I let off, it stops, I push back, the winch pulls back in, I let go. As soon as I let off a switch, it stops moving. That is how I like it and have it set up. I don't want it to keep running in case something happens and then I break a winch line or something else. So um, that is the menu selection for servo winch. Now on to four wheel steering. So um, as far as four-wheel steering, we do not select four-wheel steer in the aux the same way we just did. We actually come down to mixing, and this is all in the uh, Spectrum uh, manual. It does have all this set up. <clears throat> so we're going to go, you'll scroll down to steering, and it'll probably be inactive. You will select that, and then you can choose to activate it. And then steering is auxiliary two, and if we scroll all the way down here at the very, very bottom, the switch, that is the switch you've chosen for four-wheel steer to activate and cycle through the modes. So, and right here, the auxiliary two, that is, again, that is the channel you have installed your rear servo into. Mine is in auxiliary two, so that is what we use. Then, if you see, each of these are their own modes. We go from, um, uh, you know, turning both axles turning um, opposite directions for tighter turning radius. We have the crab walk. We have normal front steering here. And then we have rear steer. Um, and I have them positioned normal in, zero, in position zero, crab walk one, um, opposite two, and rear steer position three. And then their trims are both set to active. And right now, um, everything is um, right there minus and plus 100 and that is how four wheel steer on mine is set up and it works really well so with all that um i said that's something you know pretty simple and definitely um worth going through um and it is easier to see hopefully that screen was easy to see for everybody and follow through if not um let me know in the comments if you have any questions on it anything like that i will try to answer the best i could like i said my stuff's pretty Set up pretty basic, but then, you know, when it's all said and done, got a nice servo winch ready to rock and roll. Um, very strong there, and um, like the rear steer, uh, mine is set right there on the flick of the D. <laughs> Sorry. And everything moves there, so. Um, So that's pretty sweet there, you know, just kind of able to go through everything. Anyway, uh, I hope that helps out. Hope that makes some uh, easier if you're setting up server winch or rooster or anything like that. Uh, again, uh, any comments, questions, put them down below. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're just tuning in and join the channel, interested to see more on getting your um, G-Speed LCG build um, to the top, uh, hit that subscribe button. Keep tuned in. We'll get some more videos going. Thanks, guys.